All right, so uh, we're going to take apart this RX-8 motor. Nice little half bridge. I built it years ago. Somebody else rebuilt it not too long ago. It's a little low on compression. So we're going to pop it apart, see what's going on, um, you know, take a look at all the components and uh, try to fix it back up. This motor's been lapped, it's been ported, and uh, yeah, lightened rotors, balanced. It's, it's actually a really nice uh, little motor. So definitely worth uh, going through and bringing it back to life. Mazda RX-8 half bridge. We're going to start with uh, removing the flywheel, uh, the front pulley setup, oil pan, and uh, water pump housing. So basically going to strip the block down. We stripped off our oil pan, pickup tube, uh, front cover, oil pump, and most of the front oil pump drive and counterweight assembly. Flopped the block over, and now uh, we've loosened up all the tension bolts. We're going to pull our tension bolts take the rear iron off and actually see what's going on inside this cool little Renesis. So we uh, stripped down our RX-8 rotors. And uh, you can see all the pieces laid out, front and rear rotor. We've got stationary gears and shaft, rear reg. We're going to clean them mainly to get rid of all the carbon deposits. Make sure everything, when it goes back together, there's no issues. And no buildup that would cause the seals to not move properly. It's also a great opportunity to spec everything out again, make sure the tolerances are good. And I think we already know that we're going to replace the side seals. So clean them up, put them back together, new side seals. I just taught my buddy Mike my very special KMR cleaning technique. Which is actually pretty easy. Yep, which you're basically using a lathe cutting tool to help scrape off the carbon buildup. Oh, I got to give John Kepler a little credit there too. He's the one who taught me that. But. <laughs> You know, yeah. Mazda tricks has tricks. That's that's the point of this. So, yeah. um, and so we're gonna clean these rotors up, and then uh, reset our seals. Check the apex seals tolerance, which it already looks good. I kind of did some checking. And we're gonna get all of our side seals, maybe a little bearing polish, everything ready to go back inside this motor. Really, everything looks pretty good. It just needs a cleanup. So we spent a little time and cleaned up the rotor housings. They're looking fantastic, low miles, a little wash down. And then we've got our rotors decarboned, quick inspection, everything looks good. So next up, we will be doing some painting to the clean uh, rotor housings and setting up the rotors. Should be simple enough. Starting the assembly on the Renesis half bridge. We've got our stationary gear in, one rotor housing on, water o-rings in, and we're just prepping the rest of our parts. And we're also setting up our rotors, making sure to check all of those side seal tolerances. And now we've got our rotor in and we drop those apex seals down in. Time for the center plate. Alright, got our back rotor in, set up our side seals, just got to drop the apex seals in and the water o-rings, but looking very good. A little refresh coming along nicely. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we got the last iron tile. I was putting in some oil on the bearing just to lube it up. And we're going to drop it in on the rear chamber. And finish it up. You're on video if you mess this up, so. 
Yeah. Fonzied it. <laughs> the motor pretty much ready to go. The front stacked together. We're just measuring shaft plate, right? Front end plate. Front end plate. I mean, shaft plate.